Larry Height is one of the most successful traders of all time, a career spanning many decades. He knows what works and has made it work for him for a very long time. Do you want to know what one of his secret weapons is? It's very powerful and it may actually surprise you. It's how Larry Height knows that his trades have an edge and that he will only be in trades that have an edge. Let's let him answer that in his own words. Going back to the question of how you determine the odds of any trade. So let's say you're sitting at your computer today. Um, I presume most of your trades nowadays are, are fairly automated. But Yeah, it's totally automated. And it's automated for one reason. The automation keeps me on track. Are you surprised to hear a great trader say he relies on automation? Wouldn't you think he would be more involved? Wouldn't you think somebody with as much skill and experience as he has would want to interpret real-time market movements and he would be able to do that better than just running some set of rules on autopilot. And that's a common misconception about trading, that somehow new data is unique and it's more relevant and it's more useful than data that was used a while ago in the past to build a trading model. And here's Jim Simons, the mathematician and Harvard professor who realized markets were not random and made over $20 billion using rules-based systems. And here he describes in one sentence how he does it. Uh, you, you, you look at a lot of data and, and you try to uh, simulate uh, different predictive schemes until you get better and better at it. That's what we did. And uh, gradually these models got better and better and better and better. Uh, it worked. And so, so, these so Larry Height and Jim Simons were just generous enough to share something very important with you. And if you take the time to listen and apply it, it may just permanently change the way you think about trading. Back in 2011, I was completely frustrated with discretionary trading. I was losing money every single week. My losses had stacked up to over six figures and I was just ready to quit. I was done. But I read about traders and hedge fund managers who used systems to make hundreds of millions, even billions of dollars. And I thought, why am I not doing that? But I also thought, I'm not an engineer and I'm not a PhD, and I didn't know how to write code or program a computer. I had no experience with anything in that realm. My background was commercial real estate brokerage. I negotiated leases and sales of commercial properties. But you know what? Neither did Larry Height. He's the legendary systems trader who made over $800 million trading systems. Larry Height was a dyslexic rock music promoter who started trading, used systems, and compounded his way to massive wealth. I knew that automated systems was the key to me turning things around. So in 2011, I ventured from Fort Myers, Florida, where I am right now, to Wall Street to learn directly from the pros. Since then, I've won trading competitions. I've been a top performer on the Fund Seeder platform, and I've traded for hedge funds and prop firms, and I've earned consistent high returns year after year after making that change. And now I trade 95% on full autopilot using many of the same systems I first developed after I learned this in 2012. And in 2019, I started funding other traders who trade rules-based systems. And along the way, to help them do their very best, I recorded 15 hours of training on automated trading. And I call that the automated trading accelerator. I'm going to tell you about that later. But I want to tell you some other things first, all right? I'm going to tell you four things. I'm going to tell you the myths you should not believe about automated trading. Things that I believed, other people believe, that are not right. And I'm going to show you some examples of automated trading in action. The types of trades that I take and that you could take too. And a specific plan 
to begin your automated trading as soon as this week or this coming week. And the opportunity that you have to get funding to test your very first automated system. I'll tell you more about that, but I want to say one thing before we move through and get to that. A lot of people think funding is something way down the line, but when you work with the right people, you can get funding at the very beginning before you've built some kind of track record or proof of concept if you're working with somebody who knows what they're doing and is trying to help you accomplish what you are trying to do. All right, so let's get into these real quick. First myth, automated trading is difficult. Okay, could seem that way, right? Automating your trading, why would that be an easy task, right? Do you think, though, automatic bill pay is easier than remembering to write checks? The first time you learned automatic bill pay and you started using it, was it extremely difficult? Or did you maybe go through about a similar amount of work as having to look up your bill or get your bill in the mail and go sit down and get your checkbook and calculate and write everything out and send that, all right? Also, do you believe that cars with automatic transmissions are easier to drive than manual transmissions? Yes, they are. The fact that it's automatically doing something for you does not make it harder for you. It makes it easier for you. And another question, do you know every single detail about the technology behind those automations? Do you know exactly how automatic bill pay works? The what, especially the ones where the bank prints and mails a check for you. Do you know how they do that? Do you know where the check gets printed? Do you know it, does it, a, does a person get involved? Did they fill in or fill the envelope and, and stamp it and send it? Or is it all machines and what city does this come from and what software? Do you? you don't know any of that stuff. You filled out a form online once and switched to automatic bill pay. All right. You don't know how an automate. Maybe you do, but I don't. You don't know. You don't have to know how an automatic transmission works in order to start using one instead of a manual transmission. Okay. Automating is supposed to be easier, not harder. Okay. And the, the real question is, do you understand just enough, just enough to make use of automated things in your life before you fully understand every single nuance and detail about the technology? And myth number two, automated trading isn't reliable. Why would I trust a computer to do all the work for me when I can be there to make sure everything's working right? Okay. Now it's true. It's absolutely true. You can't just turn on an automated system and check back in 10 years and see what happened. All right. That's not what we're promoting. And that's not what we're encouraging people to believe or think that they can hop on some website, click a few buttons and then just wait and see what happens. That's absolutely not true. However, the reliability, the reality, I should say, is that automated systems are more reliable than humans, okay? It's not about whether or not you never have to be involved. It's will it provide a level of reliability that you cannot bring to the table, all right? This is the key. By adding automated systems to your routine and what you do, you become more consistent and reliable than being completely on your own. So I'm not saying to take your sa yourself out of the equation and completely switch over to automated systems that do absolutely everything for you. There are websites that offer that. You can buy, you can subscribe to bots and you can just say, you just take over and, and you run this. Okay. I don't think that you should do that. I think you plus an automated system is where you get the best possible outcome. You still stay involved, but automated systems do a majority of the heavy lifting and the stuff that is difficult for people to consistently and reliably do. So it's not about the automated system being 100% reliable and you are no longer needed. It's about the fact that you are not 100% reliable and an automated system is far more reliable than you. And the two of you together is what will have the most reliable results. 
All right. Furthermore, like automated bill pay on the reliability side of things, you have some jobs to do with automatic bill pay. You need to make sure there's money in the account. Automatic bill pay will probably just try to pull the money out whether or not you have it. That part's not automated. You have to do that. You have to make sure that you still keep needing to pay the bill. Okay, automatic bill pay doesn't know if you've had a lifestyle change and don't need that service anymore. And automatic bill pay is not going to make sure that you're satisfied with the service being provided or whatever it is that you're paying for. So you still have jobs to do. You have to make sure the service that you're paying for is being done, the service that you're paying for needs to be done still, that it's still a good price that you should be that you are paying for it and competitive and you shouldn't be switching to something else. And you need to make sure there's enough money in the account to make the payment. So you're responsible for that side of things. You still have responsibilities with automatic bill pay. You aren't just devoid of responsibility involvement anymore. All right. But the reliability of timing and accuracy is absolutely best handled by automated technology and bill pay. You plus automatic bill pay are better than you paying your bills on your own. All right. Automated trading isn't reliable. Continued. The re reality is your trading is largely all automated already. If you're concerned about automation and say, how would I, why would I turn over my trades to automated systems? Guess what? You do it already. No human is taking your order ticket onto a floor and asking someone to take the other side, negotiating and having handwritten papers that go back and forth and exchange deals. Once you submit an electronic order ticket, guess what? Your order goes through an automated system to get filled. Okay, there's routing algorithms that get sent. If you're not doing um, share increments exactly in $100, things are getting split up and getting filled in certain ways all through automated systems. Okay, if you're uncomfortable with automated systems, you should be already uncomfortable with everything that goes on with your trading account. All we are doing is adding one more layer to the automation, which is the logic statement that's run through before an automated trade is taken. That's it. Beyond that, it's all automated systems. It's all electronic. It's all computers speaking with other computers with if then logic statements about how to get the job done that's been tasked to it. And what we're doing is adding just one little layer to it. Now let's get real. This is not, I don't think it's a reliability question. I don't think it's a difficulty question. I think there's actually another issue that comes up that stops people from automating. Most traders will understand and accept that automation is actually more reliable than point and click manual trading. Okay. But they still resist. They resist switching because they are addicted to the slot machine feel that comes from entering trades manually. All right. So it's not that they don't know how to automate, that they don't trust automation. These are sometimes the excuses that are brought up for the fact that they don't actually just want to give up control at all. It's time to decide. Are you in this for the results? Or are you just in this for the excitement? of looking at a chart and making a decision and pulling the trigger and seeing what's going to happen next. If you're in this for the results, if you got into this for the results, and you have come to the realization, like 80% of the rest of the volume of the market, that automated systems are the way to handle things, then let's proceed down that path together. Myth number three Automated trading is for high frequency day trading, and you're not doing that. But that's not true. Automated trading is for absolutely any time frame. If you're trading milliseconds, minutes, or months, it doesn't matter. Using automated systems can improve the reliability and consistency of what you're doing. The goal of automation is to increase accuracy and consistency not speed, not frequency, accuracy and consistency, whether you're trading once a month or once a minute. All right. If you have to monitor a trade and only take a trade once a month, 
that's still, have you ever made a trade plan that was going to be monitored once a week or once a month and then failed to follow through on it or failed to execute on time or accurately or per the plan? That's where automated systems come in. You can make that decision once, set up an automated system, and allow it to do that tedious task of monthly check-ins, calculations, and trades. All right? Myth number four, you need to learn coding language, a coding language to automate. That may have been true back in the 1990s, but now, through automation, through technology, there are tools that give you the point-and-click control over automated systems. All right? Just like, you keep bringing it up. Automatic bill pay, you don't have to get in there and program the computer and program your bank account to do that. There is a point and click form that you fill out, select options, pick the date, set it up, schedule it, and it's automated. Okay? These systems are built for automated trading. There are systems built to automate your bill pays. There are systems built to help you do this without having to code them from scratch. All right. Now, the more coding you know, the more you can customize. You can come up with very elaborate and customized solutions for yourself. But you absolutely can have a successful career automating seven figure accounts without ever writing a single line of code. All right. Fifth myth you need to be a good trader first before automating. What, what, what would I automate? about my trading if I don't like my trading as it is, right? I need to get good first. I need to get my feet wet. I need to get more experience and more hands-on experience before I switch and turn it over to automation. Maybe I should have made this myth first because it's a bad one, all right? That's just like telling a teenager that they need to know how to drive a manual transmission in a race car first, before they can drive the family car with an automatic transmission. It makes no sense. You do not need to know how to do the difficult thing, the thing that makes it harder to do the job. You don't need to know the harder way before you do the easier way. All right? The problem really lies in the reliability and consistency of people, of yourself of me. I'm not reliable and consistent enough to follow my own rules. That's why I automate my own rules. Your lack of performance, if that's the case for you, in trading may not be a planning problem. It's most likely an execution problem. So let's fix the execution problem with the right tools. All right? Automating removes many of the barriers that make trading difficult. Why keep it difficult? All right. So now I'm going to give you those are five myths that I think are very important to remove from our thinking about automation. And now I want to show you a couple of examples of automated trading. And then we're going to talk about the plan to automate your trading and how to get funding. All right. So this example is multiple attempts to catch the turn. All right. So this chart shows some frustrating trading. All right. This is a stock that's pulling back. It was up in the 70s and it got as low as into the 30s. And you can see that if you tried to buy this because you believe this pullback was bound to turn around and get back into a bullish trend and make new highs, then you would try to be buying this. And on here, you can see like right here, this is a buy and you sell here, and it's a buy, and you sell here, and you buy and you sell here. Well, anytime you buy here and sell here, that's going to be a loss, okay? So you're trying to like buy these little breakouts, buy these uh, trend changes, and you're out during this. It's fine. You try to buy because you think it's going to go. It doesn't, and it crashes down, and you try to buy, and finally it looks like it's going, and then it just comes back down, almost back to where you got in. You finally get a profit out of it, but it's still not enough to cover these losses. And then it just starts all over again. You keep trying to buy and it's not going up. You buy, it's not going up. And most traders would just get completely frustrated with this. All right. And this act, this, this chart here is over the course of, uh, several weeks, if not a couple of months that we're looking at. 
you'd be completely frustrated by this. And, and maybe at some point, maybe on trade number two or three, maybe on trade number 10 or 12, you'd say enough is enough. You know, I'm not really sure this thing's ever going to turn. And you're probably going to move on to other shinier objects and greener pastures at some point. Well, what happens though? An automated system would continue to do this, no matter if it felt quote unquote frustrating, because guess what? Computers don't get frustrated by things. They just keep going. Well, here it is. A couple of trades later, it finally catches and rides the big move, taking it from in the 40s to, well, almost to 200 before finally settling out above 130. So it catches the move. It was trying to get this whole time. And it only can do it by continuing to trade. This whole thing, by the way, all of these are rules-based automated trades that went in every single one of these. Buy, sell, buy, sell. It's completely based on the same set of rules. No predicting or anything. Just following a set of rules that would allow it to catch a big move. But if it's not going to go, it gets out again. So you can see it was able to stay out during most of the downside and catch the big move. And all these attempts along the way were the price to pay to finally catch the big move. All on autopilot. Doing this manually would be very, very frustrating. Most traders would quit and move on to something else and, and miss this big move. All right, but what happened after the big move? All right, this is the other side of it. Say, well, I would have been just fine. I would have bought and, and held and ran through all that. Well, do you know how to get out of those trades? Because right here... We are out of the system now, and what happens? It crashes all the way back down to around $70, all right? An automated system can be consistent and reliable on its attempts to catch a move, its actual participation in the big move, and then getting out, getting out of losers and getting out of winners per the plan, not being how emotion how difficult would it be for you to ride this up to 170 180 it sells back down to 130 and you just feel like you know and i don't know you but it's a good chance you feel like i think it can get back to 180 and make a new high and keep going all right it'd be very difficult to take that sale at 130 knowing that technically the trend has changed and i need to get out and then it starts going up without you and you have to try again. So I'm hanging on unless it makes a new low or you start justifying changes to the plan. And then it finally gaps down a few times, giving back most of those profits. All right. This is what an automated system can do. It can navigate those difficult periods when it's not going and then when it goes and then how to get out again. Very important. Maybe you don't like momentum or trend trading like that. Maybe you like to buy dips. But you should know not all dips are created equal. And if you had a set of rules that say what dips are worth buying, which ones aren't worth buying, sometimes those are hard to follow when those dips come up, and, but you have a filter triggering and saying don't take this one. But an automated system can do that. So here's a dip buying strategy when there's a little bit of consolidation or a pullback or a dip or even just a pause. This system can buy and then on the next rally it will sell. All right. But you see, it's not always taking these trades. There's a period at the beginning of the chart where it makes sense. There's a period in the middle and at the end that don't make any sense. All right. So this is a dip buying strategy. Automated. Every one of these trades automated based on a set of rules. It says on the first about third of the chart, it's okay to buy the dips. And it buy those dip, buys those dips all the way through that rally all the way up to the top there. And then on that sideways to down move. It doesn't buy the dips. It only tries one more time here. One more time. It looks like all the rules are back in play for a possible uh, bullish trend to buy dips in. Tries once, then stops, and it's out again. All those dips would have been very pain. You try to buy this dip, and you're out down here. You try to buy here, and it gets further down. You try to buy there, and it takes you down. All those very painful dips that were filtered out by trends can be automated. You can automate that process. So you can just stand aside, not worry about it. The whole time, bullish trend, you know the dips are going to be viable. Bearish trend, they're not viable. All right. Maybe your focus is on hedging. You say, well, I'm really a long-term investor. I'm more of a fundamental trader, but I do have concerns about the downside, and I know there's trading opportunities to protect my account. 
All right, so maybe you want a hedge. So a great hedge is long volatility. This is a long volatility automated system. So question is, would you have taken that trade? Okay, it's when you have these massive moves like that, it like dwarfs all the prior data. But see all that sideways and kind of downtrending data off to the left there. And that one little trigger point was a, a just like all these others, same thing. There's a lot of little trades in here that are taken prior to this. There's a lot of trades on long volatility that don't work. They don't lose a lot, but they just don't make a lot. And they get kind of irritating and frustrating about break even most of the time on those. And then you finally catch a big move. Would you have, would you rely on yourself to take that trade? Or could you just rely on yourself to say, I'll make the capital available. I'll make sure the system's up and running. And if that opportunity comes, I will buy it. Okay. Next question. Would you have held through all of these big spikes up? In hindsight, we look back and say, oh, that's just near the beginning of the move. But when the move has happened, when, when we've gone from here all the way up to here, this, this already dwarfs all of that back here. We're blowing up through this level here. We're all the way up here in this massive gap up. Would you really have held the position there? How about here? Even bigger. You've gap, gap, massive gap. Say so it's parabolic. It's way ahead of itself. Would you really have held there? And it continues and continues, and the automated system finally takes the sale here at a level that's higher than this one and this one and this one. Yes, it's not all the way up here, but it, it took a very good sale, all right? And then it's out before it collapses back down. Great long volatility hedging system that can also be automated. All right, so whether you want to follow trends, buy the dips, hedge your account, you want to do scalping, you do want to day trade, you want to fade gaps, and anything else that you know about or want to participate in or already participant, participate in that is successful for you, you can do it better with automation. You can do it better with automation. B besides that, maybe you're a good scalper. You're a profitable, good scalper. You enjoy it and follow your plan consistently. But are there other types of trades that go on without you? You do not get to participate in because you don't know how to handle them properly or you don't have the time or attention to do it or it doesn't fit your view of the market. So it's diff very difficult for you to participate in other edges that you do know work. You can automate those and add them to your portfolio of trading. All right, you can improve and you can get better by adding automation. So now we've talked about myths, we've talked about examples, and I wanna share with you now the plan to automate your trading. And this is a totally new approach to trader mentoring that I'm very excited about. I've been brainstorming this and trying variations of it now for several years. And I'm very excited about what this has turned into and what it means for traders. If you invest in me, this is the proposition I have for you. If you invest in me as your automated trading mentor, I will then return the favor 2x. All right? I will return the favor to you double. All right? So how does that work? You apply, as I mentioned before, the automated trading accelerator which is a 15 hour training plus mentoring plus strategies, you apply for the program and we have a call to talk about it. Okay, this is the step-by-step -step process. You go through, if accepted and it makes sense and it looks like it's a good fit and the whole thing makes sense for you, you go through the Automated Trading Accelerator program. And I will take the cost of the program that you invested in, the cost of the program and the mentoring and the strategies and everything included, I will multiply it by two and deposit that full amount into an account that you can trade using the systems that you learned in the automated trading accelerator that you can trade for a hundred days. All right. So that's the, the program in three steps. So the question is, how confident do you think I would have to be that you know strategies at the end of this program that will preserve and grow that account? I'd have to be pretty confident, right? Well, that's what I'm trying to portray to you. 
is my confidence and commitment to your outcome that I'm willing to bet with you that you will get that outcome. And the Automated Trading Partnership is the Automated Trading Accelerator plus capital, and that really completes it to everything you possibly need to become an automated trader. It's training, it's support. And when I say support, I don't mean like some support ticket system where somebody overseas is gonna look through a frequently asked questions database and then try to give you an answer. The support is me, okay? If you have questions about the program or the strategies or the systems, you ask me, okay? I personally will support you via email, phone call, or web sharing meeting. I'll look at your screen, see what's going on, get things fixed, and get you back on your way, all right? Full high-level support plus strategies, not just theory and concepts, and step-by-step -step rules to build your own strategies, you are given turnkey strategies as well as being shown how to develop and improve your own systems and strategies. And on top of all of that, capital to back up the strategies that you first implement, okay? So the old saying, I'm putting my money where my mouth is. I'm backing what I'm teaching you along with you. You invest, I will join you in that investment, and we will get this up and running. All right? Mutual incentives that we have. I'm incentivized to make sure you are ready to protect and grow the account. All right? And the 100-day limit gives you this incentive. You are incentivized to move quickly, follow the plan, because you're only allowed to use the plan that we agree to. You either take it from the system or we agree to it and go live ASAP. Now here's the deal, that 100 days begins the day you have a call with me, all right? So it's an incentive for you to commit and follow through on your plan, move forward and implement immediately, all right? And you can do that quickly. I've had people be ready, traders be ready in less than a week from the time we have a call, never having automated before, never having an account open or anything. In a few days, they were ready to go live, okay? And that only happens if you commit and start doing the work immediately with that goal in mind. Others have had a call with me, registered, started taking the training, and then three, four, five months later, send me an email and say, hey, I only got started a few months ago. I'm gonna get back into it, just letting you know. Four or five months later, I don't want that to happen to you, all right? You lose too much momentum, and I think you you don't accomplish a lot, and there, there are people who get 80% of the way through and don't ever finish. I hate that. I want us to be aligned with the goal of the outcome of an automated system that's working and operating and running for you, okay? So I'm making this incredible incentive to make sure you move quickly through the program to get the results, all right? So right now I ask you if this all makes sense and you think this would be a good thing to do, I would like to invite you to start now. So here's how it works. Right now you probably have a lot of questions and I've left a lot of those unanswered by design. Because just like I talked about earlier with automated, you know, an automatic transmission or automatic bill pay, we don't need to know all the details and nuances before we can decide it looks like something that's worth making some progress with, okay? Proceeding with it. So I don't want the list of questions that are coming up or the long list of frequently asked questions I could go through right now to slow us down. If at this point it makes sense with the amount of information that you have right now, this makes sense, I want you to take a little action. And the action is very simple. I want you to fill out an application and schedule a call to see if this is the right fit for you, okay? These calls go one of two ways. You may speak directly with me or you may speak with somebody else first to clarify some things and then you and I will speak. But either way, you and I will speak before proceeding into the program, all right? All your questions will be answered. You will understand every last detail and nuance about logins and capital and everything, okay? Every single thing that you need to know and want to know will be given, given to you ahead of time, all right? 
So right now is the time. I would like to invite you to go ahead and make that application, uh, submit that, schedule your call, and I look forward to talking with you about fully automating your trading. All right, so go ahead right now and fill out the application.